150 francs to get Just in here. Can't you read? I, I want to look for somebody. Come on, get going. Could you tell me if Dolores There is here. no Dolores here. Come on. Get your hands up. Get it! Tell me all about yourself. Where were you born? Spain? No. In a little country far away from here. Oh, don't tell me. I bet you were born in Chile. No. I was born in Sucre. Sucre? Mm -hmm. It's the capital of Bolivia. How charming. <laughs> Terribly charming. It's not that charming. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir, but uh, I'd like a word with Mademoiselle Dolores. But of course. Don't you see I'm busy? Yes, it's very important for you. Well, uh, better one wait for me in front of my house. Number three, Paradise Street. I'll be there in half an hour. It better be important too. Yes, uh, I'll be there. I hope to see you soon. Nothing serious, I trust. I hope not. you got here. Such good taste. Now tell me, by any chance, do you remember having met a certain American sailor? I remember very well. He's dead. Are you sure of her? I am sure. And I always love to be the bearer of good news. He's alive. How do you know? Have you seen him? I saw him at the Kit Kat tonight. He looks rather tired, but very much alive. How come I didn't see him? I'm afraid he didn't have the money to pay for his admission ticket. Poor devil. Poor devil indeed, huh? But make no mistake, they're pretty smart, these sailors, you know? They usually end up by finding what they're looking for. And what is he looking for? Victor, you and me. Have nothing to do with that business, and you know it. I know it, but what about the police? You must admit, it certainly looks as if you brought him to us, uh, ready for the kill. I brought him to you? To kill him? Mm, no, I wouldn't go that far. Only in order that we could do away with his money. The stabbing was, I confess, a rather unfortunate accident. Get to the point. Certainly. I believe it would be much safer if this American sailor doesn't happen to find you, so that the police uh, wouldn't associate either of us uh, with this little matter. Oh, by the way, have you ever been to Jean Lepin? It's such a wonderful resort, you know. So cosmopolitan, so restful. Why don't you go there for a few days, huh? Yeah. Get out. Jean Lepin? <laughs> How I envy you. The sea, the palm trees. Get out! Oh, such fire. You must control that temper of yours, huh? Well, I'm sure you'll find your little trip to Juan Lepin most relaxing to your frazzled nerves. Find the woman who was with me. What do you mean? Find a woman in Marseille? Are you kidding? And my money. Any chance of getting it back? Still worrying about that? <laughs> I have to. What do you want me to do about it? Even if you were a Frenchman, we could only help you after you'd been here for a year. I hope you never find yourself broke in a town where you don't know anybody. That's exactly why I stay right here. Just try being broke in New York or Buenos Aires. Then come tell me how you like it. Why don't you go to the American consulate? I've been there. They sent me to the Canadian consulate. Why don't you go to the Canadian consulate? I've been there too. 
They send me back to the American consulate. Then try the soup kitchen. Thanks for the advice. Look, there must be somebody somewhere who can do something for you. Yeah, the undertaker. things over to Pier 86. Say, got any work for me? Belong to the Union? Then don't waste my time. What are you hanging around here for, you little brat? Beat it!
Colonel, you look pretty young. No mate will ever sign you on. I know a guy who can fake any fate. Yeah, but how about your father and mother? <laughs> Too many of them. What do you mean? <laughs> Too many of them. Well, they both got married again, and I think four's too much. I see. And you, how's your job going? It's finished tonight. It was only temporary. But it doesn't matter. I'm rich now. Hey, do you know where I could have some tattooing done? Yeah, not far. Why? You see this? It's a compass. Well, I'd like to have something added to it. Something important to me. D-O! What's that? It's going to be Dolores. When I get mine, there won't be no girls' names. No? No. Here, the names of my ships. Here, the ports I make. Tahiti, Honolulu, San Francisco. You've been to San Francisco? Yeah, a few times. Gee, I'd love to go there. Why? How do you think it is? Full of mountains and trees. No, no, no. Like here, full of people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a thousand francs. You lay 
Peter. You're in good hands. Hey, don't go away. I'll be back. See? Everybody leaves me. Even he does, and he's my best friend. I'm all alone. Free you of all evil. Your sins curl round your heart like a black snake. As thin as a hair. Point it like a dagger. Now watch. Look! That made them pass into this egg. Now you are pure. I feel pure. She hasn't come back yet, has she? She hasn't been around for a month. She must have left Marseille. Quite a blow for us. Well, you too. She hasn't written? <laughs> Dolores Wright. It's easy to see you don't know her very well. Maybe she's sick? I think so. Tell me. Yeah. You... You don't know where she lives, do you? Yeah. Over by the old port. It's an awfully big place. You know that Dolores? She's a strange kind of girl. Not like the others. No. Not like the others. What do you see? Nothing. Thanks for the customer. You paid well. What do you have? Same as you. A couple of coins. in my hand. The hand is not important. What really counts is in the eyes. Then what do you read there? You've never known happiness because you've always looked too far away for it. And now? You'll know the love of a woman, but here too you look too far away for what's Close beside you. Then? That's all. No, that's not all. Well, what's the good of going on? You don't believe in it anyway. Until you go on. Is it Dolores you're in love with? I see a great danger. I see blood. Shut up. They're throwing me out. Nobody loves me. I was looking for you. I want you to tell my future. But I just did it five minutes ago. Ah, yes, but you know, things might have changed since then. All right. Give me a thousand francs. No, no. Closing time now. You've got to go quietly. All right, all right. I'll go. I'll go quietly. So long. So long. Who's that guy, anyway? Can you be that? You got something to eat? Sorry, absolutely nothing left. I can't even give you a piece of bread. Ah, they never have anything in this joint. Come on, let's go to Jenny's. Good night. Night. Very simple. With a pin, I make a hole in an egg. Yes. And I put one of my hairs in it. Yes. And then when I break the egg in front of the client, mm -hmm. the hair wiggles. <laughs> and where do you live? At the camp at Madran, at the edge of town, between the mountains and the sea. I've got a feeling this is something I've been waiting for. Just a minute. I'd like a word with you. Hey, what do you mean? I don't know you. Oh, yes, we met. All right, don't you remember? Is that? 
What's going on here? Ah, nothing. Then what's the hurry? Going to a fire? No, no running for a streetcar. There aren't any more streetcars at this time of night. No? The heck you say. Ah, what a time. days if you like. You can sleep in that empty shack up there. Fix it up. Come a little nearer. You'll help us sort the junk. How about it? Okay by me. I swear it. I didn't do it. My word of honor. Ah, uh, cut out this nonsense, will you? Even with the benefit of the doubt, you're going to get Four or five years anyway. You're not going to hold me. You can't do this to me. Unless, uh... Unless what, Inspector? This seaman. Think you'd recognize him again? You bet I would. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we'll turn you loose for a few days. Yes, uh, anything you say, Inspector. Better find him, see? If not, we'll find you. Got it? Yes. We'll give you five days. Ah, thanks. Philippi, follow this up. I knew we would understand each other. Why did you ask me to come down here? I like you. You're beginning to sound like one of us. What? Don't you know what the word gypsy means? It means liar. For 20 centuries now, the world has called us liars. Why? The Roman soldiers asked a gypsy blacksmith to forge them three nails to crucify our Lord. The blacksmith didn't want to. He hoped to save him. He told the soldiers, I can only make two nails. So the soldiers stoned him and drove him away, shouting, Gypsy! Gypsy! And ever since that time, our people have been wanderers over the face of the earth. We wander over the face of the earth. That's the best life at all. You're not happy here? How 
can anyone be happy in prison? And yet you won't go away. I'll go when I'm ready. Mm -mm. You won't go away. The cards say so. The cards. Would you like to go back to Canada? Never. Not to Canada. Why not? You've got your friends there. You'd laugh at me. Well, well, Eric Martin. The man nothing could stop. All Quebec wasn't good enough for him. And he is back again. And all the Quebec doesn't look so bad after all. Where would you like to go then? Anywhere. Across every ocean. To blot out the memory of this place by other places. To blot out the memory of this love by other loves? Name Piero. Yeah. I come from Eric. He's in trouble. They're in trouble? Don't worry, it'll be all right. Now listen. He needs fake papers. And he tells me that you. Sure, I know a specialist. But I'll need Eric's photos. Here they are. He went into town yesterday and had them taken. Now listen. You ask your friend to run up an identity card and a labor permit for him in the name of Hans Norgan. And when you've got it, you come up to the camp. Hmm? Here's 500 francs. Now, I'll rely on you. You bet. Eric's my pal. Good evening. Why did you come here? For a drink? Brandy. Any objections? You'd better get out of here and fast. Why? The cops were in here looking for you. <coughs> they are not looking for me. My name is Hans Norgan. I'm a Dutchman. Look. Do you think those false papers are fooling anyone? What do you want me to do? Grow a beard? I want you to get out of here before Aimee comes back. He's already had one good beating. You think he wants another one? No, not even. Listen, be a good boy and hide out for a while. Mm. Dolores? She's never come back. You still don't know her address, do you? I told you I don't know. I think I'll hang around till I find her. Look, if I give it to you, will you promise to keep out of sight? I will. Well, it's number three, Paradise Street. Three, Paradise Street. Now run, quick. Dolores is back. Dolores, I haven't seen her for weeks, your Dolores. And now I have to take some more sleeping pills. Hey, where's 
Jarek. Up there, asleep. You see, he had shipped the Alabamas in port. Had I better tell him or not? Why not? Well, he knows he'll want to go on board, and it'd be risky for him to go through town. Yes. Still, on the other hand, maybe he'd better get back to America. So long as he takes me along, of course. I don't think he'll go away. But tell him anyway that the Alabama's in. Okay. <laughs> You weren't coming back. Well, you know how it is. I couldn't get rid of her. <laughs> Where's Jack? Oh. He joined the Navy. We always thought he liked the sea. Yeah. <laughs> sure about the first mate? Yeah. He could can. Oh, I'm broken hearted. Boy, am I glad to see this old dead again. Where's your gear? Let's get it on board. Think I could sign on? Sure. We left two guys in Genoa. They're in the hospital. Go up and fix it with a new mate. Yeah. Maybe it's about time I'm clearing out of here. <laughs> that's the oh, stuff, Wait that's a minute, stuff. that's not the big problem. Come on. There's a kid I've got to smuggle on board somehow. A kid? Yeah. Oh, no. We'll never get away with it. Why? Ah, if Europe's trying to stow away. I'm going to see the mate now. Keep your fingers crossed. Yes. Good luck. Oh. Take up on that slack a little. Excuse me. Yeah, what do you want? I used to ship a ball here until I went to the hospital. You... you don't need a navy, do you? Got any papers? Sure. Sure. Did you have nice weather coming over? Not too bad. Well, I can use you if it's okay at the consulate. Meet the old man there about 4 o'clock and he'll sign you off. Thanks. Get your stuff down here in a hurry, though, because we're shoving off at 6. Don't worry. Did you want to ship out? You bet, especially if we're going together. Sure you won't get lonesome for Marseille? No, sir. Not afraid of seasickness, are you? Oh, Eric! Even in a wine barrel? A wine barrel? A little later, we are leaving tonight. Oh, gee, that! Come on, we've got to buy you some stuff. We'll take this one. Very good. But Eric, you bought me one already. You'll need two. This also? Yes. And I got too many handkerchiefs. You've got to dress up a little, you know. You belong to the American Merchant Marine now. You've got to behave like a gentleman. It's her. Who? Dolores. Where? Where in the car. Pay for me. Next time we make this port. Yeah. Here. Maybe we can see her at her house. We don't have time. Are you sure? Yeah, we've got to go to the warehouse and the consulate and be back at the port before 5.30. You can poke around all you like. You won't find anything wrong here. Everything's in the book. And the Health Commission's license plate's right there. This caravan was DDT'd 8-13-48. It says so, right here. You didn't happen to see an American sailor around here, did you? I didn't see anybody. Except, of course, the family. <laughs> <laughs> I drew a complete blank. Well... All we can do is keep an eye on the place for a few days. Be seeing you. We'll be here. You and your hot tips. Uh, don't worry, Inspector. There's a girl who just got back to Marseille, and sure as shooting, he'll try to see her. Love, you know? <laughs> Yeah! 
Eric! Eric! Why did you come here? I want to talk to you. Wait for me. Top deck, and we'll let him out just as soon as we drop the pilot. Okay. Okay, so far. Hang on, kid. You are taking off any minute now. What are you going to let me out? Mac would do it. <laughs> Mac would do it. He knows his way around the hatches better than I do. soon. Anyhow. Say, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Nothing. Why? Talking to yourself? No, 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 no. Just singing. Soon, anyhow, anyhow. All right. Get a move on. Why don't we wait for? Let it down. Much. Ah, go on. It won't blow the top off. What do you think it is, champagne? No, it's wine. Yeah, but 12 years old. Say, keep number eight aside. Alabama pull out. Go away now. Go away. My gypsy.
until three. when you didn't have to be forced to. Not very talkative, are you? Not very. at once. Not me. You better clear out quick. What's up? I just saw that dirty little M.A. calling the police. Get out through the kitchen. Oh, listen, please, I don't want them to catch you. For my sake, get going. There's a scandal here. They'll close my place for six months. Come on. What? Let's go. Look, Gracie. Dolores. I want you to come with me. Leave me alone. I know my way around. I know where he is right this minute. He won't get away. Tonight is the night. <coughs> now, 
How is that nice? You almost slammed the door in my face. I am not accustomed to have visitors at this time of night. Since when? Go away or I call the police. Go ahead. Uh, Everybody in town is calling the police tonight. Uh, go away. <laughs> no use. I'm strong, you know. Remember? That's the first thing you said that night we met. Here we are. Back home. Got a drink? You are drunk already. Oh, I had a few to get in the mood. You better have some yourself. I'm not the sort of people who are gay naturally. Help yourself. Thanks. Finish your drink and then you're going to go away nice and quiet, aren't you? By the way, did you ever know a fellow called Eric? Eric? I think the bell somehow. Probably somebody I met. Or maybe I just read the name in some detective story. Was he... The murderer or the victim? I don't know. Both, maybe. Right. The man could be both. Now you're going to be a good boy and run along, eh? Huh? Yeah. With you. Don't be a fool. Dolores. Yeah? Think it over. Are you coming with me? Where to? Anywhere. I like it here. Yeah, but... I can't stay in Marseille. Then go! But without you. That really takes the cake. And with what, may I ask, am I going to live? At work, I can make enough for both of us. <laughs> Do you know why I came here? Why? To kill you. What are you reproaching me for? My job? I don't do it for fun, you know. But when you are broke. You can pick and choose. All the other have forgotten me. And I'm quicker than I forgot to send. This is the first time. I didn't know I could make anyone so offended. You're crying now. Two minutes ago it would have worked. You made one mistake. You laughed. You laugh or cry whatever the customer wants. Don't say that. A customer. That's what I've been to you. This is true. I was in love with you. Obsessed by you. I killed a man for you. Oh, it's a lot easier than you think. Don't say that. I could have gone away on the other planet with a kid who was my only friend. And I let him down because of you. Now look at me like that! I could have stayed at the camp with a girl who really loved me and I didn't because of you. No, Eric, no. I Thank thought you. I was free, but I was a fool. There you were, you, you. As long as you live, I won't be free. Don't call. It's no use. Darling, darling, listen to me. Please. Please. You're wrong. You're imagining. I, I miss you. Yes. I miss you too. Lie. Yes, I miss you too. Please believe me. I love you. Liar. Kiss me. Kiss me. I love you. Liar. Please. I love you.
back door. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll never get by there. Watch out. Are you Eric Martin? Yeah. You killed Victor LeBlanc, didn't you? Victor. Uh, Go on. Well, you might get out of this, but I doubt if you'll be free for a long time. I'm already free. Take a look around upstairs. Let's go. 